today, 22,000 children have diabetes. And when they reach age 17, most of them will want to learn to drive. Having diabetes doesn't mean that we can't drive. We can drive. It just means that we need to plan in advance before we get behind the wheel. If you think about how you feel when you have a hypo, do you think you'd be safe to drive? This video supports young people with diabetes and informs them of the simple measures they need to take to become safe, responsible and worry-free drivers. In this film we discuss applying for your licence, reapplying for your licence, can I speak to the car insurance department please? Car insurance and staying safe while driving. There are no restrictions in applying for a driving licence if your diabetes has no complications or is treated with diet or tablets which don't cause hypoglycemia. But if your diabetes is treated with insulin, well there are complications with your diabetes. Well there's a bit more to do. When you're applying for your provisional or full driving licence, you need to tell the DVLA that you have diabetes. Section 4 of the application is about your health, and that's where you can declare it. Make sure that you send your driving licence application to the correct DVLA office. It's different when you have diabetes. It will explain all this on the application form. After you've applied for your licence, if you are insulin dependent or have any diabetic complications, the DVLA will send you an additional medical questionnaire called the Diab1 form. There's no extra charge and you can also download the form from www.direct.gov.uk. The DVLA class hypoglycemia as a blood glucose below 4 millimoles per litre. The form will ask you about your awareness of hypoglycemia symptoms, if you get any warning symptoms when you have a hypo, and whether you've had more than one episode of severe hypoglycemia in the last 12 months. Severe hypoglycemia is classed as an episode where you needed help from someone else. It doesn't apply if you were given help but could have treated yourself anyway. When you're filling in your forms, be honest. Try to make sure you fill in all of, the, all of your sections and try to give as much information as possible. It can also be useful to attach a letter from your healthcare provider. Try and give information uh, like your hospital number and your address and your telephone number. These steps can help you get your information quickly and smoothly. If you get stuck filling in the Diab1 form, ask your healthcare team to help you. They are always happy to help. Or have a look online at the DVLA guidance. If you have insulin-treated diabetes, you will receive a one, two or three year driving licence, depending on your awareness and risk of a hypo. You will need to renew your licence before it expires and you'll get a reminder 90 days before it does. This doesn't mean you'll need to retake your driving test and all renewals are free. When renewing your driving licence, you will need to fill out another Diab1 form to give more up to date information about your diabetes. The DVLA want to issue licences, not take them away. It's only ever if there are safety issues that licences are removed. Many insurance companies don't ask directly about diabetes, but you still have to inform them of your diabetes immediately and at each renewal. Make sure you tell them about any changes in your diabetes or in its treatment. If you don't, your cover may be invalid. <laughs> but don't worry, you won't be discriminated against or have to pay any higher rates just because you have diabetes. Hi, can I speak to the car insurance department, please? It's really important that you recognise symptoms of a hypo and are able to take appropriate action when driving. Symptoms of hypoglycemia include feeling dizzy, hungry or sweaty, feeling sick or developing a headache, experiencing a change in mood, trembling, blurred vision or having difficulty in concentrating. Always when in your car, carry an emergency kit. 
just in case you have a hypo. This can include glucose tablets, cereal bar, and a testing kit. Don't forget to carry some sort of identification, such as a diabetes card or an emergency alert bracelet. To keep safe on the road, by law, you must check your blood glucose levels before you drive and recheck every two hours during longer journeys. Your blood glucose level should be above 4 millimoles per litre before you drive. Ideally, you should aim for a level of about 6. If it is at 5 or less, then you should have a snack before you drive and on long journeys you should take regular meals or snacks and have rest periods when appropriate. Don't drive if you are feeling hypoglycemic or if your blood glucose level is less than 4 millimoles per litre. It may be obvious, but don't drink alcohol and drive. <laughs> we all know no one should drink and drive, but it's especially important for us not to even have one alcoholic drink before driving, in case of the risk of having a hypo. If you experience hypoglycemia while driving, there are a number of important steps that you must take. Firstly, stop driving as soon as it is safe to do so. Next, take your fast-acting carbohydrate such as your glucose tablets, immediately. Make it clear that you are not safe to be driving the car by removing the keys from the ignition. Move out of the driver's seat and step away from the car if it is safe to do so. Wait at least 45 minutes after your blood glucose has returned to normal before you drive again. If you experience a hypo at the wheel, or if you have had more than one severe hypo requiring the assistance of another person in the last 12 months, then you must inform the DVLA as soon as possible. You might hear some scary stories about when people had a hypo whilst driving and they ended up driving on the wrong side of the motorway or crashing into a tree. And that can be really scary and can put you off driving. But if you're sensible, you monitor regularly and you know what to do when you do have a hypo, then it's okay. It takes the worry out of driving and you can know you're safe on the roads. As long as sensible precautions are taken, there's no reason why people with diabetes shouldn't get the same enjoyment and benefits from driving as everyone else. Applying for your licence and monitoring your blood glucose levels is a bit of a hassle, but at the end of the day it's really worth it. Enjoy driving! <laughs> For more information on the issues raised in this video, contact the DVLA, Diabetes UK or DirectGov, the government information website. This video was made using actors, but the words we used were based on interviews with young drivers who do have diabetes. <laughs>